Hello YouTube and welcome to another virtualization tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install and manage Hyper-V Server 2019. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know uh, Hyper-V Server 2019 is free and you can download it from the evaluation center from Microsoft. Okay. So you don't need any lessons in order to install it. But of course, you need a license if you install a copy of Windows inside our hypervisor, okay? So you go to this link here from Microsoft Evaluation Center or just you type download Hyper-V Server 2019 on your uh, browser and you get this web page from Microsoft, okay? So here you choose the, the language of the install the ISO download actually. So here I downloaded this uh, ISO image and I bought my DVD. So you can install it in DVD or uh, just using USB drive. Okay. And you boot up your actually server. So when you first boot up your server, you get this actually screen. So this is the Windows Boot Manager. So all you have to do is to actually hit enter in order to install the server, the Hyper-V server, okay? So as a reminder, this is just a core server, so it has not a GUI interface, but as you will see later, it has actually a command menu that you can choose from in order to configure or set up the setting for your Hyper-V server, okay? So this is the first screen of the install Microsoft Hyper-V server. So me, I choose the language as English. So all I have to do is actually to go next, then install now, okay? So the setup now is starting. So after that, you get this applicable notices and license terms. So you have, of course, to accept it. Then hit next. Okay. Then you choose either uh, install the newer version of Hyper-V server only for advanced. Okay. And here, as you can see, I have only one drive. So I'll choose it and I will hit next. So now the install of Hyper-V server is being actually installed on the hard drive, okay? So it will take some time in order to install our server. So now the server is going for a restart. And this is what you get is actually logon UI. So here you have uh, the user password must be changed before signing in. So I will just hit here uh, enter. Okay. Okay. So then I will input my password. Okay. So now the password has been changed, so I will hit OK. And this is the server configuration menu that I have talked you about. Okay, so here you have uh, some uh, couple of options. 
that you must select from okay so you can of course here with number two change computer name okay you can also use windows update you can uh, enable network setting so let's for example go to the network setting and change the ip address so i'll choose uh, option number eight here we go so here you can see that I must also select the network adapter index so here I have only one so I will choose it then then I can set the network adapter address so I'll choose number one and I will set up static IP address so I will input s here we go here we can input whatever IP address that we want so I'll choose 93 then the default sub mask I will leave it as it is for the getaway I will use mine okay so after that you can also set up DNS server so I'll choose option 2 here we go and I will use the Google DNS server IP address here we go so in order to return to the main menu I will hit number 4 okay here we go we can also enable uh, ping so for that we go to option 4 configure remote management as you can see it's enabled by default so if I choose number 4 I can actually configure server response to ping so I will choose 3 here we go so allow remote machine to ping the server so I will hit yes okay so successfully configured to allow pings so let's test it and see if it can indeed ping so I'll use ping here and I will ping the IP address that I have just set up which is 90 here we go you can see it can ping 93 okay you can also uh, actually return to the uh, main menu and uh, change the computer name okay so I'll choose here number two as an option then we input our uh, server name so I will just type for example Windows 2019 Hyper-V and remember this uh, host name is very very important because we will use it in order to connect or to manage the server remotely okay so here you must restart your computer to apply the changes so let's restart it now so I will just click yes okay here we go now we have to press ctrl alt del in order to unlock Here we go so let's input the password that we have set up okay now as you can see we are in okay so now in order to manage this server remotely there are a couple of commands that you must do both on the server and also on the client and as the clients will be using actually windows 10 but Let's begin but by our server and input the commands in order to manage it remotely. This is very important if you want to manage the server, uh, especially when the server is not in part of the domain. So as you can see here, we are just in work group. So this is, this is standalone server. If you have joined this server to the actually domain, you don't need to input these commands but as we want to set up the server as standalone which means not belonging to any domain we must input this command in order to configure remote access or remote management actually so here let's begin by the server so we have to input actually some powershell commands so i will go here to the other window and i will type powershell in order to input the PowerShell commands okay 
So as you can see now, the prompt has changed to PS, which means we are in PowerShell. So the first command that we have to actually input is enable PS remote in. Okay. This is the first command that you must actually enter in the server. Okay, the command has finished. Now let's move on to the second command. So the next command is also enable, but this time it's enable w s man then uh, create ssp and the role is server here we go and here we have to answer to yes do you want to enable create ssp authentication so our the default is y so i'll just hit enter here and here we go, you can see that everything is set up. This is the two commands that you must actually execute in the server. So now we are done out with our server. Okay. Uh, we can log off using uh, 11 option. Here we go. Are you sure you want to log off? Yes. Okay. So we have finished with our server. Now let's move on to the Windows XP and configure also the setting in order to manage it remotely okay so the first thing you have to go to your start menu search and actually turn some features some windows features on or off so i will go here to my search then i will type turn windows features on or off so i'll choose it here we go and it gets me this window feature and here I have to go to Hyper-V and you have to check this folder here, Hyper-V Management Tool. So you must actually choose these two options. So me, as you can see, I already done it. So they are already checked. So when you check them, these features will be actually installed and turned on. Okay. So we are done now. Now we have to go to the PowerShell and execute it in as a admin so i will here just type powershell and we'll have to run it as administrator in order to run some commands so this is our powershell so as i told you we must also execute some powershell command in the client in order to remote manage the server okay so the first command so the first command actually will allow us to set up the network interface to a private. So this is the PowerShell command for it. So here we set up the interface alias Ethernet. So this is the name of my interface. So if you have a different one, you must change it to according to your uh, machine. And the network category is private. Here we go. So the first command is done. Let's move on to the next command. The next command actually is to add the host name of our server to the host file in the machine. So here you can see that I have actually append IP address of the server, which is 93. And also the host name. So this is 2019 Hyper-V. So of course you have to change that to the setup that you have set up when installing the server so if you have a different host name or different ip address you must change it here here we go next we have to configure remote management using this command here as you can see the message is very clear so here one of the network connection type on this machine is set to public so you must change every connection type to private in your uh, actually machine 
so let's run it once again and see the result here we go now we have to enable the win rm firewall exception to work so our answer just yes here we go so this command now has been executed next we add actually our server or to the trusted host using this next command here we go so we have to answer yes here we go next we must allow a windows 10 credentials to be allegate, uh, delegated to the hyper-v server using this command okay yes here we go next we must allow a couple of delegations so you will find of course all the commands in the description box okay Here, of course, I've got some errors because I already actually entered these commands before, okay? So now it's time to test all what we have done. So we have to go to the Hyper-V Manager. Here it is. So I will click on it. And I will, of course, connect to the server so here i have to enter actually the host name which is windows 2k hyper v and i will connect as another user okay so i will set up here the credentials windows 2k 19 hyper v then i will enter of course here the administrator as a user sure to not do any typo here administrator and I'll here enter the password that I have entered before so let's go for it so let's remember me okay and let's connect and see what we get And et voila, as you can see, we have successfully connected to actually the Hyper-V server, okay? So you can, of course, go to the settings if you want to change something, okay? But the most important thing that now we can manage actually remotely our Hyper-V server, okay? So that was just a brief video to show you how to install and manage remotely your Hyper-V server 2019. And in next videos, I will try to actually uh, create some virtual machine and play with them. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.